dive under the water and look up. This is what you will see. This is my favorite image. It's called the Snell's window. It's this circle here and within the circle you can see photons escape the water surface. So within the circle we see the ceiling in the building. However, if we go over the circle, the photons can't escape the surface and so we see the reflected pool floor. I want to show you with this shot here but the lens isn't wide enough to capture Snell's window sadly. But I got this awesome shot of me diving into the water. I could see it with my eyes and you can also see it with the camera if you tilt it a bit like this. Let me explain what it is and why it occurs. To understand why it happens here, I'll roll with some barrels. In the blue regime, the barrel will roll slow, and in the white regime, the barrel will roll faster. Here comes one barrel. When the end sticks out, it will go faster, causing the barrel to rotate. Another barrel arrives with a greater angle with respect to the surface. This causes the outer barrel to rotate for a longer time and send the barrel back into the blue medium again. The regime represents water, where light can move slow, and the white regime represents air, where the light moves much faster. Barrels represented photons. Let's imagine Mario sits here. What can he see if we send actual photons and not barrels out? The idea is somewhat the same. At smaller angles, the light can escape, but at one angle called the critical angle, the light will bend and align with the surface like so. And any light going in a greater angle will just bounce and reflect into the water, just as I showed you earlier with the barrels. Let's go to 3D to see why a circle appears. Here is Mario. What will he see? Let's draw the critical angle all the way around. And so everything within that angle will exit the surface and everything in the red zone will just reflect the water. It's my favorite picture because it shows some beautiful but fundamental physics hiding in our daily life.